Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. So today we are going to discuss about input output instructions and interrupt. Okay, so uh, interrupt and all we will discuss in our next class. So here we will discuss about input output instructions. So what are input output instructions? So as we know that <clears throat> how we provide input to the system and how, how output is generated. So uh, we know what input uh, devices are and what output devices are. So let's take keyboard as an example. Okay. So uh, if keyboard is an input device, so here we will provide some input through keyboard and how that input passes through the medium and how it reaches the particular system and finally how outcome is generated. So let's take printer as an example. Okay. And how that output is generated. Uh, okay. So that uh, which registers are going to uh, take care of those things. So here input output instructions a terminal with a keyboard and a printer. So here the input output configuration can be given as a terminal with a keyboard and a printer. Okay. So uh, if we talk a printer as an example, uh, here we uh, know the concept called uh, spool. Okay. S P O O L spooling so what is spool so s stands for simultaneous peripheral operation online so simultaneously for example if uh, three or four systems wants to give a print okay so which one is printed first so the first given instruction will be printed and the remaining should be in the waiting state okay so this is called simultaneous peripheral operation online Okay, so first we will see the input output configuration of it. Okay, so first uh, we have a keyboard. So keyboard is our input device. So from keyboard uh, we have a transmitter interface. So what is transmitter? So transmits the information. So what is receiver? Receives the information. So here uh, for input uh, configuration we have a keyboard and transmitter interface. For output configuration we have receiver interface. And we have a printer uh, which is an uh, output. Okay, so here transmitter interface, and finally it is uh, given to uh, INPR. So INPR is nothing but your input register. Okay, so VOUTR. So VOUTR is nothing but your output register. Okay, so here uh, two flags should be enabled. So first FGI that is input flag. So flag input. FGO, so flag output, we call it as output flag. So what exactly happens here? So uh, the information which is given through a keyboard, so whatever we press the keys in a keyboard, so that's information is given to transmitter interface. So from transmitter interface, it's given to INPR. So you can see uh, the two arrow marks here. The, the first one is a single arrow mark, okay? So, which is nothing but serial communication path and if we have uh, a double arrow mark which is nothing but your parallel communication path okay so uh, coming to parallel communication path so parallel communication paths always occupies from INPR to accumulator to OUTR okay so uh, from here from IN from INPR to accumulator from to, to accumulator to OUTR Okay, so from transmitter interface, it's given to INPR. So input register. So input register is totally eight bits. Okay, so input register is eight bits. So and it's given to accumulator. So AC is accumulator. So finally, that information is sent to OUTR. So uh, when it will be sent? So first, when uh, flag input bit is set to one, when FGI equal to one, uh, when FGI equal to one. Okay, so from INPR to it goes to accumulator. And from accumulator it goes to OUTR. That means when FGI equal to one, FGO is zero. Okay. So uh, once input is transferred from uh, accumulator to OUTR, now FGO becomes one and FGI becomes zero. Okay. So one input register is transferring the information. FGI is one and FGO is zero. When uh, accumulator is transferring information to OUTR, when OUTR is about to receive the information, FGI, FGO is set to one and FGI is set to zero. It's a vice versa. So uh, here these are uh, called as computer registers and flip flops. Okay, and from uh, and from uh, OUTR information goes to receiver interface. 
uh, and this is nothing but your serial communication interface and from receiver interface it goes to input output terminal that is printer so uh, in printer we get our output so what exactly happening here so from keyboard uh, the information is put to transmitter interface so from transmitter interface uh, it goes to INPR that is input register which is an 8 bit register so uh, when it is about to transfer information your FGA is set to 1 and FGO is set to 0 why because OVTR is not at receiving the information so once uh, INPRs already sent the information to accumulator from accumulator goes to OUTR now FGA is set to 0 and FGO is set to 1 so this is computer registers and flip flops and from OUTR it goes to receiver interface that is serial communication interface and from there it goes to input output terminal and finally printer prints the output okay so here we have uh, now five input output instructions here so first one is INPR so INPR stands for input register which is 8 bit so next is OUTR so OUTR is output register which is again 8 bits FGA so input flag which is 1 bit okay FGO output flag which is 1 bit and IEN IEN is interrupt enable so uh, in the meanwhile uh, we may get some interrupts right <coughs> So in order to handle that interrupt, uh, we have interrupt enable. So, so this is interrupt enable is one bit. So first is uh, the, uh, the terminal sends and receives serial information. So what does terminal do? Terminal sends and receives the serial information. The serial info from the keyboard is shifted into INPR. So that's the first thing. The serial info uh, for the printer is stored in the OUTR. Okay. So for the printer it is stored in OUTR uh, and for the keyboard it is shifted to INPR. So INPR and OUTR communicate with the terminal serially and with the accumulator in parallel. So INPR and OUTR communicate with the terminal. So both will communicate with the terminal serially and with the accumulator in parallel. So if you see the single arrow represents our serial communication path and double arrow represents parallel communication path. The flags are needed to synchronize the timing difference between I/O device and the computer. So here, flags decides uh, how to synchro synchronize the timing difference between whether it is I/O device and the computer. So in this way, uh, input/output instructions are discussed. So here, the major uh, thing, the five things to remember is INPR that is input register 8 bit, OUTR output register 8 bits, FGA that is input flag 1 bit, FGO that is output flag 1 bit. IEN that is interrupt enable one bit. The terminal sends and receives serial information. The serial information from the keyboard is shifted into INPR and the serial info for the printer is stored in OUTR and both INPR and OUTR communicate and with the accumulator in parallel. Okay, So uh, the serial information is generally uh, information transport serially but when from INPR to AC to OUTR is uh, parallel communication. So the, you can see double uh, arrow marks. Okay. So uh, here the flags are needed to synchronize the time. So this is all about input output uh, instructions. I hope you understood the concept. So uh, please give your valuable suggestions through comments. So I request you to please subscribe my channel. The students who are watching my channel for the first time, I request you to please subscribe my channel. And uh, please share my videos to your friends who are studying in different other colleges through your WhatsApp groups. And uh, so that you and your friends will get benefited. And please support my channel in all possible ways. Thank you. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.